Functions are one of the fundamental building blocks of JavaScript. A function is a JavaScript procedure, which is just a set of statements that performs a task or calculates a value. To use a function, you must define it somewhere in the scope from which you want to call it. A function definition, which is also called a declaration or function statement, consists of the function keyword. So in this example, here's the function keyword. And then there's also going to be the name of the function, which is square in this case. So you're, you're always going to have this keyword function. It's always going to be function. The name is always going to be different. In this function, it's called square because that's what we're going to do in the function. We're going to square a number. Now you're also going to have a list of arguments to the function in closing parentheses. So the argument in this function is number. This is the, uh, what we're going to pass in to the function. These are called parameters which are variables that act as placeholders for the values that are to be input into a function when it is called. So you're going to input or pass these values into the function. So when you call the function, you are going to write the you're going to type the word square, but you're not going to type the word number. You are going to pass in a number and this becomes a variable within the scope of the function. The last thing the function ha is going to have, which is the main body part of the function, are the statements that define the function. These are enclosed in these curly brackets. So some, function will have, some functions will have a lot of lines. This one just has one line. And you can see the return keyword. That's going to return something from the function. When you call the square function, it's going to return number times number, which is how you square a number. You multiply a number by itself. So here's how you could call that function. I'm going to pass in that function into console.log so we can log the, the answer to that function. I'm going to put square four. And when we run that, we can see it's going to log 16. We're going to call square, which is the function. Instead of the word number, we're going to pass in four. And it's going to return number times number, which is four times four. And then when we it'll console.log what this returns. Okay, here's another another function. And I'm going to use this as an example to explain scope. In JavaScript, scope refers to the visibility of variables. So variables that are defined outside of a function block have a global scope. So here's the actual function. The function is my fun. We're not going to pass in any variables or parameters or arguments. And it's just going to console.log some var, which is defined before the function. So because this variable is defined before the function, it is a global variable. And so then the fun the variable can be accessed inside the functions. However, variables which are declared within a function, as well as the function parameters, have local scope. That means they're only visible within that function. So let's call my fun. And so that's how how you would call a function that does not have any parameter or anything. You just have to put parentheses after the name of the function. If we run that, and you can see it's going to uh, console.log hat, even though hat is not within the function. So a variable defined within the function is a local variable. So a local variable can actually have the same name as a global variable. So here is some, we have var sum var equals hat, var sum var equals shoes. These are the same name. So when they have the same name, a local variable is going to take precedence over the global variable. So if we run that, it's going to say shoes over here. But now if we do console.log sum var, and we're going to run that. So it's going to console.log shoes here. But when I console.log some var again, it's going to console.log hat because this is a local variable and it's not accessible from outside the function. So when I try to console.log the variable outside the function, we're console.logging the global variable that we define outside the function. And now I'm going to talk about nesting a function within another function. So when you nest a function within another function, or when you put a function inside a function, the nested or inner function is private to its containing outer function. So in this example, we have the function add square, and the, this function is this whole block here, 
but inside that function is another function. The function is square. So the inner function, which is square, can only be accessed from the statements in the outer function. So you can see this inner function square, we're accessing it here. We're calling the inner function here and here. If we were um, here and we called square, it wouldn't work. We would get an error because that's outside of the function. The inner function can be only accessed within the function that it's in. The inner function forms a closure. The inner, function, the inner function can use the arguments and variables of the outer function, while the outer function cannot use the arguments and variables of the inner function. Learn more about closures in my closure video. A is going to equal add square, and we're going to pass in two values, 2 and 3. So it will be passed in 2 and 3 here. Now we're going to ignore this for now because we're not calling it yet. But now we're going to return square. Okay, here we are calling it. We're going to pass in A which is going to be 2, and it's going to square it. 2 times 2 is 4. Now we're going to add that, and we're going to call square again. We're going to pass in B, which is 3. So it's going to pass in 3 and do 3 times 3, which is 9. So now we have 4 plus 9 equals 13, and that's going to return 13. You could console.log it or use it in another function. We also can do this if you pass in 3 and 4, you're going to get 25. If you pass in 4 and 5, you're going to get 41. Another thing to know is that a function declaration is hoisted. That means no matter where it is in the code, it's kind of brought up to the top of the code. So let me show you what I mean by that. So look what I did here. I had console.log, and then I'm calling the add squares function, which actually isn't defined until right after that line over here. So I'm passing in 1 and 3. 1 squared is 1, 3 squared is 9, 1 plus 9 is 10, and it's going to console.log 10. So you can call a function before it is actually appears in the code. See my hoisting video for more information about that. Well, that's the basics of functions. Thanks for watching. My name is Bo Carnes. Don't forget to subscribe, and remember, use your code for good.